Well, November turned into a crazy month for me. My uh, trusty old Canon SX50 that I've been using for years since I started YouTube um, to do all my videos uh, finally hit the concrete one too many times and decided to die on me. I mean, you can see it's pretty messed up there. It, it got blown over in the mud this year working on the garden and, you know, fell on the tripod and, you know, landed in the mud a couple times and it's bounced off concrete floors and everything. So... Needless to say, it's a, it's a goner, so um, I went on YouTube and I started looking for some videos about a good camera for YouTubers, and I came up with um, a Canon SL2, a Rebel SL2, and um, I looked around for it, and actually I went on Costco, and I found one on Costco's site. Um, they had it on special, um, and here you can see it came all shipped, all packed and um, sealed up good in a uh, plastic just in case UPS left it outside, I guess. And it's a complete kit with the um, the Rebel SL2, three lenses and a bag and supposedly everything you need to get going. Now, um, I know absolutely nothing about these uh, DSLR cameras and... Um, I decided I wanted to try to upgrade and do a little bit better videos in the future and, you know, at least get to the full HD videos. And um, this seemed to be the camera that all the, um, you know, the YouTube videos recommended for the best entry level camera. So here it is. And um, you're going to have to put up with me until I really learn how to use it. But, you know, it did come packed pretty nice and um, it, it came with uh, the camera and there are two lenses and there's actually one more lens that's on the camera and uh, supposedly this is supposed to be a you know real good set of lenses to get going but i have no idea because i really use point and shoot all my life so um this is all new to me so in the um you know it was it did, did it was a good deal i think and um you know costco did throw in a memory card and in case and stuff so you know, I opened up the box, I really did get a surprise because in there there was a couple hundred page manual with it. Um, I just started reading that. I think it's going to take me about a month to get through it all. But um, it seems like you do have to learn quite a bit once you switch from the automatic mode into the manual mode. But um, hopefully I'll be able to get up and running and uh, catch up on some of the videos that I've got started but couldn't finish because the um, other camera just wasn't working properly so there it is the you know the box of the camera had a uh, a lens in it and came with a battery and battery charger and um a nice strap to go with it and uh you know in the camera so you know pretty much as i said this is going to be a whole new experience for me but um hopefully you'll get me going again um you know so i'll be able to finish up some of the videos and keep going on youtube Yeah, I ordered this thing on uh, Costco.com, and um, they did a three-day turnaround. Three days later, I had it in my house, so I thought that was pretty good. Then um, a couple days later, we were going out to get a Christmas tree, and we took my truck, and we got about two miles down the road, and all of a sudden, all you could smell was like burning brakes, and uh, you just couldn't stop straight. So we had to turn around and go back and... Um, get the car and we wound up going out and getting a mini tree that would fit in the car now this is uh got to be the smallest tree we've ever had but um you know it's better than nothing i guess so um you know we we're able to get it home in the car there and got it decorated up so you know it's tiny but it doesn't look that bad in the end we didn't have to move stuff around so um that was the uh, next thing so you know back down into the shop and got my truck in there my f-350 and jacked it up and yep there was a the caliper that was stuck on it again now this truck this is the 12th caliper that i've put on it in uh in 35,000 miles when it was new it first had the calipers replaced it i think it was about 19,000 miles with new ford packs at the time and um they then uh, about a year and a half ago one stuck and then the next one stuck and you know slowly but surely i've been replacing them with um rebuilds which seem to be the only thing available now so um 
I just can't wait to get rid of this truck. And there you can see, um, if you're doing brakes by yourself, one of those mighty vacuum things is really great to have to do all the bleeding and stuff. So, you know, you don't really need to bother anybody else. And that, you know, I've had that for years, and it really works good for, for bleeding them down. Then um, I went in and went to use my CNC compute, my CNC router, and I was drawing up some parts, and all of a sudden, poof, and it stunk like something burning, and the monitor went out. I just couldn't believe that, so here I is. Um, I had to pick up another cheap monitor so I could get going again, but the, um, the old Samsung there just went up in a puff of smoke, and... Then my wife's got this sun lamp that she uses for, for working and knitting and stuff. And went to pick that up and move it. And um, there's like this cast aluminum thing that held it all together on the bottom that snapped. And it's like one thing after the next. Everything I touched went bad this month, I think. So that one, um, hopefully I can machine some new parts to fix that. Uh, I'll see. It was really cheaply made, even though it was an expensive light. So then... Um, Next thing is last summer we sold, we had um, these manual reclining sofas and we had to get rid of them and my wife was having back problems and couldn't get the legs down on them. So we bought some of these uh, power recliners from Raymore and Flanagan and the power went out one night and here we are both of us sitting like beached whales stuck in these recliners, um, reclined and there was no way to get them down. Um, you couldn't climb over the end because you'd break them and... You know, it's kind of like we were just stuck there, and lucky the power came back on in about 15 minutes or so. But um, so I decided to um, order a computer backup system so we won't get stuck again. Um, I found one on like a Cyber Monday sale, real good half price one, and uh, it was just a high enough watt rating to um, to run the power supply on the sofa. So um, I ordered that and. You know, hopefully that'll take care of that problem. Just kind of plugged it in and behind the sofa. And, uh, you know, it's got a bunch of plugs in there. A couple of them are UPS plugs. And a couple of them are just um, condition line plugs, I guess. So, you know, I, I hooked that up. And at the same time, um, the couch is plugged into it. Plus, I wound up, uh, we use a Net10 home phone. We got rid of Verizon years ago because they raised it to like $65 a month. And we use this thing, which is like a cellular phone. And it only costs $19 a month and no tax or anything. Plus, I got the um, phone plugged in for uh, the answering machine. So everything will be backed up. So I uh, decided to try that out. And I plugged everything in. And then I just went and disconnected the power, pulled the plug out. And had my wife sitting there like a beach whale. And... Um, told her to just, you know, make sure she could get out of it and just keep going back and forth until it died. Just to see how many, you know, times we get to run it back and forth. So she, you know, she went up and down and the dogs thought it was a game she was playing. So, it, you know, it looks like this thing's really going to work out good on the couch. It's got, uh, plenty of power to you know just keep going up and down and up and down and probably keep the phone and stuff going so I don't have to run out right away and start to generate or anything to you know get out of couch but um it did beep one time and that got the dogs going pretty good they didn't know what the beep was coming from and they turned into their guard dog mode when they heard that but um you know basically you can see there that uh looks like it's gonna work good so I got that fixed and then I go back to uh, start on making this video and I go to load the videos on the computer and I get a message out of hard disk space. So, um, you know, that was the next thing I had to work on. So anyhow, it looks like I'll be back up and uh, be able to finish off some of the videos I've been working on. Just thought I'd let you know where I stood. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.